Hey guys, welcome to another video for anatomy and physiology. In this video for anatomy, we're going to be talking about the cervical plexus. These are the nerves that extend out from the spinal cord, from the cervical uh, vertebrae. Okay, so again, this is the cervical plexus. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so as we discussed the cervical plexus, um, it's five major nerves, okay? And I'm gonna list them up right over here. And as I list them, uh, or as I discuss them, I'm going to discuss them in order of uh, the, from the most superior nerve down to the most inferior. These nerves extend out from the spinal cord uh, through the cervical vertebrae, that's C1 through C5, okay? So let's go ahead and discuss again from the um, from the most superior to inferior. So our first one, let me uh, highlight it here. Our first one's called the lesser occipital. Now, actually, something I should mention that the first four nerves that we're going to discuss, these first four nerves pass through what's called the sternocleidomastoid. So the sternocleidomastoid is this muscle right here, this neck muscle. Okay, so you have a, a left side and a right side of the sternocleidomastoid, and you can kind of see these, the nerves coming out already. Okay. So as I was mentioning, this is the, uh, the first one, the lesser occipital. Uh, this nerve innervates the posterior and superior portion of the scalp. As you can see, it's kind of coming behind the occipital portion of the skull. And it innervates, it gives sensation to posterior and superior uh, scalp. And just below the lesser occipital, we have, we have the greater auricular. Okay? The greater auricular nerve, just like the other one, it passes through the sternocleidomastoid, and it innervates both the surfaces of the ear and the parietoid glands. Okay? Uh, just think of the name greater auricular. Uh, so you have the auricular portion of the ear, right? So that's associated with that, with that nerve. And then just below the greater auricular nerve, we have the transverse cervical. You can see that coming out right here. So the transverse cervical innervates the anterior portion of the neck, and it passes just underneath the external jugular. Now, if you remember, there's an external jugular and an internal, the internal going through the foramen of the vertebrae. So just underneath the external jugular, we have the transverse cervical. All right, so if you're keeping count, that was number three. And the fourth one that we're going to discuss, right here, okay, so this one's called the supraclavicular. So the name supra meaning above the clavicle. And this, this nerve innervates the superior region of the neck or the chest and the shoulders. So let's show you some muscle here that you can see. So there's a superior, or there's a um, sternocleidomastoid, and then there's a supraclavicular. Okay, there it is right there. All right, now last but not least, nerve number five is called the phrenic nerve. This is probably the most important nerve because it innervates the diaphragm right there. And the diaphragm is um, the primary muscle responsible for breathing because it, it expands the thoracic cavity, allowing the lungs to fill up with air. And this phrenic nerve, this phrenic nerve runs through um, cervical uh, vertebrae C3 through C5, okay? And as you can see here, it runs all the way down the mediastinum of the thoracic cavity down to the diaphragm. Now the diaphragm, go back to the diaphragm right quick. The diaphragm, as you can see, it's a muscle and its ori origin point is the xiphoid process, right? And as I mentioned before, it attaches itself to the uh, abs and to, um, to the lungs allowing for breathing. So uh, this is the one that, um, you know, when, when you hear about somebody breaking their neck and, and them dying, this, this, it's probably because they broke C3 through C5 or one of those cutting off that nerve and cutting off the breathing of the individual. So that does it for our five uh, main nerves for the cervical plexus. I hope this video helped and good luck in your studying.